Hey YouTube people, this is Jesse, Crow Collector 01, here today for another Transformers review. Today I'm going to be reviewing Transformers Prime Deluxe Class Bumblebee. Uh, he does come with his dual blasters. They just kind of clip together. Uh, standard silver blasters, but it is uh, worth noting out that the uh, there's three little nubs on the top. And they are separately molded blasters. They're the same blasters, but they're molded slightly different. So they are two different blasters. That's one little bit to note out. I don't know if anybody else has noticed that. So we'll move on to Bumblebee. Um, really nice uh, representation of Bumblebee. He's got the silver engine block, the kind of like the black pin stripes. Um, overall really nice um, one thing that does kind of detract from the overall look is the um, kind of the roof section and the car doors are painted in a slightly different yellow that's different from the molded yellow plastic and that's uh, kind of detracts a bit but it still looks nice and you don't really notice it until you're kind of right on it and it does look really good in car mode um, a lot. It's not really as yellow as my camera's making it out to be. It's it looks pretty good. Uh, so we'll move on to transformation. What I like to do is just kind of come under here and pull these arms out first. And I see a lot of people start at the back and just kind of pull the legs down. And I find that puts a lot of stress on the uh, doors and the rear window pegs into the legs. So that's kind of why I don't like to do that. I like to start with the arms, then open up the doors. Because you can see there, they kind of clip on to the, to the uh, rear fenders there. And then what you want to do is just kind of separate this. Swing the whole body forward. Grab the legs. Fold them down. Split the legs. Take the roof, pull it down, rotate that bit under, swing that part down, kind of grab these front rear wheels, these front wheel wheels, and there, kind of a notch on there, and then you just need to push up on this a little bit and swing the arms up, and that auto morphs the whole chest. Uh, these bits slide back and angle, angle up a little bit. And it just pulls the whole chest into place. Um, getting this guy to balance, I've noticed this can be kind of tricky. He doesn't really... Um, I think it's just the way his feet are designed. He's kind of tricky to get to stand in one place. And another... They did... Um, which is kind of weird. The uh, blasters have a circle peg, but the place to put them in the arms actually a square hole I thought that was kind of odd but uh, it does fit in pretty nice you can uh, he does still has pretty good range of movement he has a limited ball joint in the head just mostly because of the way the neck and this piece is molded um, he does have some fairly nice light piping it doesn't come across all that well but it is it's pretty nice Overall, I like I like this guy. I do. There's just something about him that I like. I don't really know what it is because he doesn't really represent Bumblebee all that well. I think the first edition toy is probably the definitive version of Prime Bumblebee so far. But I like this guy too. Even though the entire front section is pretty well and just an automorph, I still pretty well like him so we'll get in some size comparisons here he is with the good doctor and you can kind of see how they stack up and Bumblebee's not he's not necessarily bad but I think a lot of people's not really going to like him and I was kind of iffy about him at first too and it is worth noting out that I did have to buy two of this guy the first one I bought the automorph was just messed up and it would not work right so I had to take that one back and get a new one so that might be 
kind of something to watch out for if you're looking into getting this one but uh, uh, I like him but like I said a lot of people's not going to just because of the the way he transforms and the way he looks but um, yeah I would pick this guy up if you see him right now some of the prime stuff's kind of hard to kind of hard to find so I just keep looking around until you found something but so yeah there is Transformers Prime Deluxe Class Bumblebee. This has been Jesse, Crave Collector 01, signing off. I gotta get a secret to tell before my head.